Hey guys, so to start out I'm applying these little black eye mask thingies underneath my eyes just to settle in and give my eyes a little bit of hydration um, and I'm leaving those on while I do my brows. I'm just filling them in with the Benefit Cabrow in the shade number 3 and I'm using a Sigma E75 just to do that. Then I'm just taking my Tarte concealer, the Shape Tape concealer obviously and I'm just carving out my brows just to make sure they were nice and sharp and then I'm taking off my little eye masks which I actually really liked the way they made my eyes feel so they get a thumbs up from me and then I'm applying some more of the Tarte concealer onto my eyelids and blending that out with an FO4 just to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow then I'm taking the Tardis Pro Palette and I'm just setting my lids with this bone shade. Then I'm going in to that bottom left hand shade which is kind of like a cool tone brown and I'm just using this as a transition shade. Then I'm going into this shade which is called Fierce which is like a nice little plummy cool toned greyish kind of shade and I'm just doing the same thing just buffing this into the crease and I'm bringing it right into the inner corner as well. Then taking the next shade which is called No Filter, I'm using a MAC 217 brush um, and I'm just kind of doing the same thing but I'm making this more precise and buffing this into the outer corner as well as through the crease. Then I'm taking this more plummy eggplant kind of shade which is called Drama and I'm just doing the same type of thing, just building up the intensity in the outer corner and in the crease. And then I'm taking this super deep purple called Vamp and just again doing the same type of thing, packing it onto the outer corner and buffing it back through the crease. Then I'm dipping into the black from the palette which is called Punk and I'm using a Sigma F63 brush and I'm just starting to build this up into the outer corner and really kind of buff it out in circular motions. And then I just switch back to my MAC 217 brush and make sure that the edges are blended. Then I took this cream eyeshadow from Maybelline. I don't know if this step's actually necessary. I don't know that it made a huge difference, but I'm using it anyway. It's just this like matte purple shade. I'll have it li listed down below what color it is. Um, but I just applied that to my lid and then I went in with this beautiful Super Shock shadow from ColourPop in the shade Liberty and I'm using an E56 brush just to carve out my crease and apply it all over the lid and then kind of diffuse it out in the outer corner. Then I just grabbed a black coal pencil and popped it in my tight line. And then I took my Technic Cosmetics skinny liner which is just like a black felt liner and I just did a thin line across the top lash line just to make sure that the lash line kind of blended with the false lashes. Um, I applied some mascara, I used my favourite one at the moment which is the Benefit Bad Gal Bang and then the lashes I used are from the brand Kiss and I believe they're called Peony, they're absolutely beautiful by the way. Then moving on to the face, I used some of this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea oil and I just dribbled that down my face and it's like a race against the time to get it before it dribbles down your neck. So I just basically massaged this into my skin and then I primed using the Benefit Professional Luminizing one or the Pearl Radiance I think it's actually called. Um, so I just popped that down the center of my face. And then I used an oldie but a goodie. I haven't used this foundation in so long. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation. And I used a beauty blender just to press this all over my skin. And I forgot how much I love this foundation. It is so, so beautiful. Then to conceal, I'm using two concealers because, you know, I wanted to. So mostly I use the Tarte Shape Tape down the center of my face, but then I did use a few stripes of the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer just to kind of give my skin a bit more radiance and dewiness. And I just blended everything out using my Beauty Blender once again.
Then I went in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus on an F35 and I set all my kind of concealed and highlighted areas. And then for the rest of the face, I used my uh, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Wardrobe Palette and I used that shade on the far left and just set the rest of my face. Then I used the Model Zone Sculpt and Glow Contour Palette thingy and I used the contour shade to buff out my cheekbones and add a little bit of color around the perimeters of my face. And then I used the blush from the palette as well. I kind of wish I picked a different one because it didn't really go with the eye look, but you know, that's what I used. And then I used this little bourgeois highlighter. It's called like Le Strobe or something like that. But again, it will be listed down below. And I just used an FO3 just to apply that to my face. It's a really pretty like natural kind of glow. I did actually really like this. And then I just set everything down with the Cover FX Mattifying Setting Spray. Back onto the eyes, I mixed the shades Drama and No Filter together and just buffed those underneath the lower lash line with a MAC 217. And then I went in with the shade Punk again on the F63 brush that I used earlier and just applied that to the lower lash line in the outer corner. And then I used the shade Classic just to highlight the brow bone with a matte kind of shade and help diffuse all of those edges. And then I just went back in with Liberty because it was too pretty not to use on the lower lash line. So I just popped some of that on the inner third of my eyes. And then for a little pop of sparkle, I used the Glitter and Glow Shadow from Stila in Diamond Dust in my inner corners. And then I applied some black liner in my waterline and some lower lash mascara and that completed the eyes. And then lastly for lipstick, I used this lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics in London Fog. It's this gorgeous grey purple shade and I think it turned out really pretty. And that completes the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.